something's got to change. One of the things that's got to change is what's going on in our homes. You know that less than 10% of kids whose parents go to church have any kind of faith discussion or discussions about values with their parents in the home? Can you imagine that? In other words, we load up the kids in the car and we go to church, we spend an hour or two, we drive home, and then nobody talks about it. Nobody's praying with their kids other than mealtime. Nobody's reading the Bible with their kids. Nobody's on mission doing ministry together with their kids. Less than 10% of kids who go to church are having any kind of religious experience with their parents other than an occasional mealtime prayer. And we wonder why we're losing our own kids. See, we've become a service economy. We've outsourced everything. And we've outsourced the care of our lawn. We've outsourced the washing of our windows. We've outsourced our laundry. We take it to the cleaners. And we've outsourced the spiritual formation of our children. Guys, the church does have a job. The job of the church is to equip you as parents to inspire and to nurture the faith of your own children. And we're going to remind you of that again and again and again. More than remind you, we're going to resource you. We're going to train you. We're going to get behind you. We're going to help you. But friends, we cannot do your job for you. Here we are in the Home Point Center. Uh, what's the purpose of this piece of real estate? Well, this is here and online to make it easy for us to build strong families one step at a time. We want to do bite-sized chunks, if you will, uh, for moving forward and becoming more intentional. Okay, well, let's start by looking uh, here on this wall. What would you call this area right here? This is our life seasons uh, wall. One of the things in your plan that you're going to begin with is where am I? And so there, where can I be more intentional? Uh, and so this is a help to that. We have about 24 topics to begin with. We sh we're uh, certain we're going to add more as time goes on. Uh, different life seasons and different life circumstances for a family where they can take, uh, for example, let's, let's uh, grab one of the brochures here. This one's called Intentional Parenting. Uh, this would apply to most of those who, of course, have children. It'll begin with a pastoral reflection on kind of taking a biblical perspective on this life season and how do I become more intentional, what some experts might be saying or what some of the challenges or trends are in that arena. And then that'll move you into some recommended resources if you want to go further and become intentional in, in that area. And yeah, well I noticed on the back of this one it, it mentions a Just Add Family Kit and then there's several books that you have recommended. Are all those available here in the Home Point Center? They are. We wanted to make it one-stop shop as much as we could. So if you say, I want to be intentional, uh, you could ask one of our hosts and they can help you uh, grab the resource that's most appropriate for your situation. Okay, what if you're in a situation where you're going through some financial difficulties? In fact, I noticed that that's one of the categories is right. a, a family struggling with finances. And you say, well, it's great that my church is providing all of these resources for me to purchase, but I really can't afford any of them. Right. Well, a couple of things. First of all, uh, there are free resources all over Home Point because we want to invest in, in people. Uh, they can invest in themselves as well, but we want to invest in people. So there's free resources. Usually that comes in the form of a recipe card, we call them, a quick recipe for something you can do this week or this month to be intentional, either in your marriage or in passing faith to your children or whatever it might be. Uh, free CDs uh, and audio uh, products and resources as well. Um, but beyond that, if, if you really need uh, to get any of these other resources that aren't complimentary, uh, we're putting a supply in the library so that people who, who need that experience can check them out. Yeah, so they can just go to the library, check it out. It doesn't cost them anything. That's now. right. right. Okay. Uh, talk to me a little bit about this next section. It talks about going further, and it's the last section on the back of all these brochures. What are you trying to accomplish in that section? Well, the goal, you know, we all hit different life seasons at different times. So this week, I might not be uh, concerned about a rebellious teen, but next week, it might be the top concern of my life and my family. Uh, this tells you what's available at Lake Point. Uh, and, you know, there's so much that goes on here. We wanted to, specific to your situation, say, did you know we have these ministries available to walk alongside you, to help you, maybe classes you can attend. Uh, perhaps, for example, uh, maybe I have a child with special needs. Well, I didn't know that you had something for a child with special needs, special classes and so forth. Uh, so that information is there, available quick and tied to your specific situation. Uh, so you don't have to scan all the different uh, information around the church. I think it surprises a lot of people about how many different resources and activities we have. And you're right, uh, 
there's so many of them and they change all the time, it's hard to keep up with it. Will these be kept up to date in terms of every month uh, activity uh, father-son camp out or anything right. like that? We'll find it right here. That's on right. Our goal is to do the hard work so that you can just take it and say, all right, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so somebody walks into the center and obviously they start at this wall, they identify their life stage, take a brochure and the brochure is going to talk to them in some general terms about it. It's going to talk about the resources that we recommend that are right here that they can either purchase or check out in our library or go online and get. And then it's going to tell them all the activities uh, related to that life stage they're in to help them. That's right. Okay. Well, let's look at the rest of the center and all see right. what it has for us. Okay. All right. Well, tell us about this area. Uh, this is uh, a tool that's helpful if you're creating a plan for the next 120 days, which we're asking everyone to do. How am I going to be intentional when it comes to my marriage, if I'm married, when it comes to my kids or grandkids, if I'm in that situation? So all this is, is quite simply a place to stop and say, what are some ideas? What are some things I could do at church, uh, which is, you see these picture frames. Those are different events and conferences that are going on specific to the that next category. 120 days. The next 120 okay. days. So you can say, hey, I'm going to do the marriage retreat. That's what I'm going to put on my plan. Then there's at home, and at home is where we spend most of our time and energy. So we wanted to provide easy uh, to use tools and suggestions for how can I be intentional in the context of the home. Well, Kurt, if someone comes in here and they don't understand it all or they don't find what they need, is there is there someone here to help them? There is. We have a team of home point hosts who their whole role is to be here to help guide you through the process if you want. It can be self-serve if you'd like. Uh, any questions, any topics that come up that maybe we don't have something for, they can get uh, the team to follow up later. Uh, so that's why they're there and they'd be glad to serve. I notice there's a place over here for the children to stay busy while uh, parents are uh, looking at the center. I notice that also we have a computer kiosk over here. So uh, all these resources and more are available online. So really even here at the Home Point Center, they can access that on the computer that's provided there. That's right. So the Home Point Center is open now and will be open 52 weekends out of the year. We hope to see you here.